In the years since flying north to Alaska with cub crafters, it's been difficult to think about much else. So I returned via commercial airline to explore. This time the Wrangell St. Elias region with a handful of local friends who just happened to fly what I used to fly, the beloved Cessna 170. The plan was to head for the Nazina River Valley, nestled in between the Wrangell and St. Elias mountain ranges. Our original circuitous northern route following valleys was scrapped when we awoke to crystal clear skies and dead calm winds, a perfect day for flying direct. We'd blast across Prince William Sound for Valdez, then turn northeast into the Copper River, shortcutting down the Hanagita into the Chitna, and finally up the Nazina to May Creek Airstrip on the edge of the Wrangles. May Creek Airstrip is as big and easy to land as they come, positioned on a gradually sloping apron south of the Nazina River. This was the perfect base of operations for exploring the area with its nice public use cabin and centralized location. Acting as our informal guide, we followed Husky pilot and Kenai local Greg Motonaga over to the beautiful Peavine Bar Airstrip to check out what had been our original destination. I'm up a little bit more. Back at May Creek, we parked the airplanes, cracked some beers, and settled in for an evening of mosquito battle and campfire lounging. Facts. I've watched people slice, but... And this is Greg cutting the cheese. Excuse the sound effect when you need it. <laughs> Excuse me. 15 inches, 2,000 RPM, and I was just motoring around, building something, and, and I was burning, yeah, I can't remember, four and a half or five and a half gallons an hour. I, honestly, I've been flying, paying more attention to flying as slow as I can. Oh, this fast. The next morning, we took off to do a little exploring up the Nazina Amphitheater, a confluence of several glaciers into a large bowl. We'd meet at the Nazina Amphitheater Creek Airstrip, a long gravel strip on the southwest side of the amphitheater. The view is astounding. I recalled having seen some other husky pilots landing on this ice earlier in the winter. 
A brief flyover to inspect the airstrip and we set up an approach. The amphitheater airstrip, up on a high shoulder of the river, surrounded by glaciers and towering peaks, was an absolutely beautiful place to be on a day like this. We had two Huskies, two 170s, and a great group of guys. Especially it's funny to see all that ice fall there, but it's just so beautiful in the summer, there's a lot of water running down. After a little glacier flight seeing, we headed back down river to McCarthy for a fuel up before heading into Jake's Bar airstrip on the Chitna River. It still didn't quite seem real that we were casually flying around in these mountains, but there was no place I'd rather be. Over at Jake's Bar, we ran into my friend Matt and his son Miles up from Boise, Idaho for a week of adventuring prior to the Valdez Stole competition. After a short visit and some mosquito swatting, we watched them blast out in his modded sky wagon. A sight and sound to behold. A good adventure need not end, but the jobs and responsibilities that make this kind of stuff possible don't wait forever. We loaded the 170s and flew back to Anchorage so I could catch my flight home. But if I have my way, it won't be long before I return to the Wrangell St. Elias. <laughs>